Hi, my name is Kit Brooks, Japan Foundation Assistant Curator of Japanese Art at the Freer and Sackler, the Smithsonian's National Museum of Asian Art. At the museum and at the Embassy of Japan, Washington, DC, we're celebrating the Cherry Blossom Festival this year by looking together at cherry blossom themed artworks in our collections. In our final video, we'll be looking at another print. No conversation about the Cherry Blossom Festival with the Freer and Sackler would be complete without mentioning one of the most beloved prints in our collection, of the Washington Monument framed by these gorgeous bright pink cherry blossoms by the woodblock print designer Kawase Hasui. In the last video, we talked about the artist Hiratsuka Unichi and his importance to the Sō Sakuhanga, or creative print movement. In that movement, the same artist was responsible for all stages of a print's production, from designing to carving and printing. Kawase Hasui, on the other hand, who designed this print, represents the other major movement in the world of Japanese prints in the early 20th century, which is shinhanga, or revival prints. This method of print production was more similar to how prints had been made during the Edo period, where a publisher would commission artists, woodblock carvers, and printers to produce a final product that combined the remarkable talents of all these individuals. In the case of this print, the publisher was Watanabe Shōzaburō, who is regarded as the father of the shinhanga movement. It might seem strange to credit such an important role to a publisher, as we usually think of artists as being the ones who have that kind of influence in determining the flow of art movements. However, publishers were often very attuned to the available artistic talent, the culture of the times, and the interests of the public. They were the ones who coordinated the skills and interests of everyone involved in print production and appreciation from beginning to end. However, things are often more complicated than they appear, and although Watanabe Shōzaburō may have synchronised all of the artisans involved in the production of this print, it was not actually ever published. No prints of this design have a publisher's seal on them, which would indicate that more common process. In fact, the design was commissioned by a man named Shiota Takizō, who was the owner of an Asian art gallery in San Francisco at the time the print was made. The print was made in August 1935, which is inscribed along the lower left-hand edge, to commemorate the inaugural Cherry Blossom Festival in Washington, D.C. that same year, itself a celebration of over 3,000 cherry trees gifted to the capital by Japan in the early 20th century. That history is important for the context of the print, but we can also appreciate this work very easily for its visual qualities alone. I love the colours and the contrasts, and how, even though it's a realistic-looking image, certain details really make you aware of how you are looking at an artwork. For example, the reflection of the monument in the water has these darker edges, which is the resist boundary that forms along the edges of an ink stain when you put pen or brush to paper. The print has also been very carefully constructed in terms of its composition, as there is a balance between the two ellipses that divide the work in half, with strong verticals provided by the Washington Monument, this pair of walking figures, and of course implied by us, the viewer of the print. This bloom of cherry blossoms at the top right is also key, as it reminds us, the viewer, that the position we are standing in is under the cherry blossoms as well. There are also several textures and elements represented in the print. We have the stone from the monument itself, and the paving slabs along the edge of the river, the earth of the pathway, of course, we have the water of the Potomac River, but these ripples show that they are being moved by the air. But we have wood as well, not only from the trunks of the cherry trees, but there is visible wood grain from the printing of the woodblock itself. I hope this image inspires you to go out and enjoy the real cherry blossoms out by the Potomac, safely.